Hello. Well, I have a pine cone in my hand. And you're probably wondering why I've got a pine cone. Well, I'm an old fashioned type of guy and I like to use the old fashioned methods of, well, judging whether it's going to throw it down or whether it's going to be quite nice like it is today. And the pine cone helps because the old wives' tales or the old folklore about pine cones means that if it's open, it means it's going to be a nice dry day and if it closes then we will possibly be getting some rain so it'd be nice to keep an eye on this over the next few weeks because it really helps me to come out and think is it worth doing a large job or am I going to have to get fully wrapped up in my waterproofs interestingly the reason they open up like this is because inside here whilst they're growing on the trees of course before they drop off are full of little seeds very light fluffy seeds and they open up to allow the wind to blow them and scatter them as far as they possibly can miles and miles away in the hope that they can land on the ground and then another tree will grow or a few hundred trees we hope however if they close tight it's to prevent those little uh, seeds from getting wet because what they don't want and it's a fascinating um, idea is for those wet seeds to get blown out of course by the wind and not travel very far in fact travel within the distance of the roots of what's called their mother tree because the mother tree doesn't want anybody trying to get her feed her water her source of life from the ground so they don't want too many trees around competing and that's why they want to open in the dry and so it's open now in the dry and the seeds go miles and miles and miles away from their original mother plant so it's really useful to us because we know once it's open as i say it's dry and if it closes then it becomes wet so i'll be keeping an eye on this over the next few weeks and months to come especially over this winter period that's coming well i'm searching around the garden because soon i've got to plant my tulips and i'm waiting till november and we'll get those in it's nice to see that the onions are coming up now that we've put in and uh, i'm just going to talk to you in a moment back in the um, growing frame about sprouts so i'm going to pass you back over to me about sprouts and uh, well what's great inside the growing frame is lots of other things are still growing isn't that nice and uh, well we'll see you very shortly inside the growing frame you'll find me here today in my growing frame next to my sprouts because i was walking past yesterday and I looked across and well, i've got some rather large sprouts coming and i prefer them when they're smaller and so I'm going to have to get the smaller ones off and we'll blanch them in hot water and then plunge them into ice cold water, dry them off as much as we can and then freeze them and then I can enjoy them throughout the winter period, which is rather lovely. Even on these um, sprout plants and the leaves are looking really healthy, you still have uh, aphids knocking around because when you peel some of these leaves back, as I've done earlier, uh, I can find a few little aphids in the middle once they're plunged into hot boiling water they won't survive and uh, well before I blanch them away I often pick the top few leaves off and then I'm left with a, a beautiful tight little uh, sprout which is rather nice so uh, we'll keep those ones for later and uh, I look forward to having those over my meals over the next few weeks in fact I had some frozen cabbage the other day and it was rather nice although it did go rather limp uh, whilst uh, cooking it uh, but it was so delicious the flavour was held as though I just picked it myself that day and, and cooked it so the freezing process really did work well you've just caught me coming out of the greenhouse uh, I've had some garlic in storage in a, in, a, in a bag in the dark it's quite cold overnight of course and while it started to sprout I was hoping to hold it back um, a few more days uh, but I think I'll get it in the ground and look we've got some beautiful lovely sprouts coming from uh, these pieces of garlic here so I'm going to pop those in the ground and uh, we'll allow them to start to grow which is uh, rather nice isn't it I do like a nice bit of garlic and look at all those we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven pieces of garlic we'll get from one garlic bulb now what has happened and, and you have to be careful about this because you can leave it and look at it and think well that's fine there's nothing wrong with it but if you peel it back carefully you'll probably notice and we'll take a picture that one of them has started to rot 
And if that had been left, it would have affected all the other bulbs and we would have lost all of this garlic, this precious garlic. So um, even though it's in storage, keep checking. I've checked on my tulip bulbs, they're doing fine. They'll wait a few more days until we get into November. Yeah, we've saved the garlic. Hooray! Mm -hmm.